What is it? Yeah, so some of them came. Here it is. You get a closer look later. Do you see a porcupine? <laughs> Do you like me? <laughs> they love you. <laughs> yeah, and see what? You're not biting. Because we're inside. Yeah, so there's two other animals inside here. It's a surprise. <laughs> Aww. You don't want to touch it? Well, you can. You just. You can touch it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh whoa! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do you know where hedgehogs are from, Ryan? No. Oh, they're found in the world, Europe. Ah! Whoa! This one uh, is one of the African kinds of hedgehogs. <laughs> <laughs> you like the hedgehog? Good. The hedgehog. <laughs> Wow. Hi guys, oh, she's really spiky. Yeah, they're super spiky. How do you think she knows where she's going? Mm -hmm. She goes away from big things. Well, she can't really see them, so what part of her, how does she tell where how she's going? Yeah, how does she tell? Can I touch her? Can I touch her? Can I touch her? You can. Can I touch her? But they don't have very good eyesight, so they get around with their nose. And they can smell all <laughs> kinds of goodies. Something really cute and adorable with hedgehogs. If they find a smell they really, really, really like, they will lick it. <laughs> All right, we're going to see the next animal. What a honey. Mimsy. Mimsy? Yes. Whoa. We need to be real quiet with her, okay? She's an even younger baby than you two. She's a baby. And they have really small? good hearing. So our loud voices can scare them. She's actually a ring-tailed lemur. Lemur. Oh. Hi. You are more than welcome to pet her. She's really she sweet. Diapers. She does wear a diaper. <laughs> May touch it. Absolutely. Gentle. You can pet her. Okay. You can gentle touch it. Two okay. finger touch on the back. Okay. Just two like fingers. There you go, Emma. Two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it good. happens. Do you want to pet her? Yeah. She's a little diaper. Yeah. Do you know where lemurs are from? No. They're from the island of Madagascar. I know and there are more than a hundred different kinds of lemurs in the world. Yeah. All from the island of Madagascar. Did you ever watch that movie? Madagascar? Madagascar? No? You should watch it. Oh, she's not to bite me. Nah, as long as you're not grabbing her and <laughs> trying to take her, she's not going to bite you. She's real sad. Yeah. She's <laughs> real sad too. The only animal I have that is actually from Texas. Ooh. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Do you know Whoa. what that is? Skunk? Yes, yeah, a skunk! You want to hold her? Yeah. Oh. Alright, gonna need you to sit flat on your bottom. You. And cross your legs. And just kind of keep her there. Whoa. It's got a long tail. It she does. does. She has a really long tail can to me for a skunk. Her? You absolutely can. She's I really want, soft and friendly. I want to touch her. Mommy. Can I touch her? Yes, yeah, you, you can. can. Touch. Mama, touch her, you have Where two stripes down the back. Is this the one? She's striped stuff. Here you go. Aww. Oh, she might spray. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. She's not gonna spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feather duster. Skunky yeah. duster. What do you think skunks like to eat? Well, you no, think it eats, Ryan? Yeah. I don't know. Ah, she likes bugs. She likes bugs. This is Minky, and she is called a kinkajou. A kinkajou? Oh. Kinkajou. I've never heard of that before. Her tail's so big. It is, because she can use this tail to wrap onto tree branches and hang from it. Oh, wow. That's called a prehensile she tail. She licked me. Oh, you can pet <laughs> her. You can. Thank you for asking. Aww. Can I touch her? Yes. Her favorite foods are going to be blueberries, grapes, fruits, bananas. So in the wild, these guys yeah. eat nothing but fruits and leaves. What? What? Yeah. And they're from the Amazon oh, rainforest. Hi. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> can I touch her? Here you go. Can I touch her? Hmm. You can hear. 
Go ahead and pet her. You can pet her on the back. <laughs> Don't flash her. So Minky here is a kinkajou, and they are nocturnal animals. Oh. Who knows what that means? That's exactly what it means. I want to see the cat now. Let me see if I can get her to fly while we stand still. Nope, she doesn't want anything to do with you. Oh, she likes your pants though. <laughs> okay. Aww. Alright, I think very she's cool. walking back yeah. again. Bye. She's yeah, a very bye. shy little yeah, creature. I got my pet. She got her own pet. <laughs> His name is Titus, and he is a fennec fox. <gasps> fox. Oh. Go ahead and sit down for him. Hold on to him kind of tight, because he will try to get away. Can I touch her? You can, and just a little Whoa. bit. Kind of hug him. Can I touch her? Yeah. Good job. Aww. Can I touch him? He can hear bugs underground moving around. Oh. And they help keep him cool in the desert heat. Yeah. You see all the veins in his ears? I got a kitty. Can you want to catch him? Yeah. You can. Aww. <laughs> Another superpower of his is he barely ever has to drink water. I, I just can touch him. Yeah, you can touch him. Okay, gently. How long can a person go without water? Do you know? Two or three. Oh. Two or three, yeah, good guess. <laughs> He can go a month easy Whoa. without water. It's real common for desert animals. It's a parrot. It's a what? Parrot? No, I don't think so. Yeah. This is Mango. He is a toucan. He's eating. Hop up. Hop, Mango. Do you want it? There we go. Come on and get it. Whoa! Wow. Oh. me, Mommy! Mangoes use their long beaks like that in the wild to get into nice holes Can in I trees know? where animals store berries. Nope, only the birthday boy gets to feed him. Ooh. Can I feed her? No, just the birthday boy, just Ryan. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, Mango. Hop up. Good job, Mango. Very good bird. You're really good bird. What? You're a really good bird. Yeah, very good bird. See, we also we have guinea pigs. Oh, he did it. Oh, good job. We also have guinea pigs that live in the same pen as him. <laughs> and uh, I have to get them every so often. I'm going See if to I'll get catch it. I'm going to be Wow. Oh, you just <laughs> So how you're looking at me right now and how I'm looking at you, you know how I look, you can see my individual hairs a little bit. He could see every single individual hair on your head in perfect detail. Because their eyes are that good. They're from South America in the Amazon rainforest. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hey. It went to the room! I have a blueberry! Oh, it actually did. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's way over there. Oh. <laughs> good eye, good eye. Good eye. Yeah, let's go back. Yes, yes. Oh, because you was trying to catch the blueberry? And you did. Ah, look at it, look at it. Good job, Mango. Oh, wow. He's like a tail. Yes. Wait, what is, is this? This is Ash. She's uh -huh. going to change it. He is called a genet. What happened? What happened? Oh. They're an animal from Africa that is a lot like a cat. Let's touch it. All right, Ash, come on out, buddy. There we go. He has a long tail. He does wow. have a long tail. Animals that have long tails usually use them for balance. He wants to go back. It's okay. Yeah. Stay there. He's not a very people animal. <laughs> He's on jail. He's called a genet. They're from Africa and Turkey. Okay, so last animal here is a kangaroo.
Yeah, we've never walk. been. And see, he can't walk like we do. He, he has, has to move to his walk? legs together. Oh, wow. And he uses his tail as another foot. That's so cool. Whoa. <laughs> Cool about kangaroo hopping, yeah, is it helps their heart pump and it helps them breathe. Aww. <laughs> All right, bye, kangaroo. All right, pet him last Say time bye. before he goes. Bye. Are you going? Are you going? Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our video for my birthday and we show all those cool animals. Bye! Remember, I want to stay happy and rise up. Bye! Which one is your favorite animal did you see? Mine was the kangaroo. What about you? Mine was the, uh, I forgot what it's called, Adju. This is Minky and she is called a kinkajou. A kinkajou? Oh. Kinkajou. I've never heard of that before. We have a surprise for you. Yeah, are you ready for a surprise? Yeah. It's from Semaphore. You know Semaphore, right? Mike, you know Semaphore? Yeah. Oh wow, we never have anything like this before in our house. Are there two truck bottles? Or maybe more than one. I don't know, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> we don't know, do you guys know what's in there? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> are you excited? Yes. All right, so the four boxes are here. We're all waiting excitingly. All right, so we got our four boxes in here. Uh oh, for the big reveal. Whoa, what is that? No. This is a turtle, but this is a alligator snapping turtle. Oh wow, it's has spikes on them. Oh, he snaps, so um, I'll show you in a second. But alligator snapping turtles are the largest freshwater turtle here in North America. So he is gonna get huge. He's also a baby, probably about five, but he can live up to be 150. You look okay. scary. Yeah, right, you ready? Here we go. <gasps> now he looks pretty scary, huh? So um, they also have very large snouts. They bite down very hard like an alligator. So the bite oh, force of these what? guys is oh, super, wow. super strong. Now his head is really big, so these guys can't go all the way inside their shell. So I actually can hold this guy right behind his head and he cannot get my hand. So um, oh, wow. as they get older and older, uh, they get lo really, really heavy and that's how we actually pick up our big guys. But again, he's still young, so I can hold him from the back still. Does he bite if you Oh yeah, touch him? he would definitely latch onto you. That's why his mouth's open. He's waiting for something. He's waiting. To yeah. Uh -huh. If anything touched it, it would close and oh wow, he wouldn't get it back. Okay, All right, Ryan. Like Let's see. Ready? Uh. Whoa! Oh. I'm just kidding. It's a baby. So uh, this is a young Nile crocodile. She's about two years old. Um, so she's still very young and super cute. If they stay the size, everybody would want one, but they do not. Staring contest. What if he actually breaks through the tape? So he can't break the tape because his uh, all his bite force is coming down. They can bite down really hard, but they don't open their mouth very hard. So all their power is to bite down and not to open. So when his mouth is closed, um, that piece of tape will stay on and he can't break it off. All right, so the next one is an alligator. Um, oh. I'm going to bring him out Whoa. just to show you the difference between the two. So 
again, this is the Nile crocodile. We have the largest group here in North America. We have over 100 Niles now. So good question. Why is there no tape on the alligator? So because Al looks more nice. He's definitely nicer than the crocodile. So crocodiles are very mean compared to alligators. So alligators are still very dangerous animals, but nothing compared to like a Nile crocodile. So these guys are found uh, around us and they get about 12 feet and they mainly eat fish and turtles. These guys, again, can get 20 feet and they eat big things like zebras, wildebeest, and even people. So oh, wow. again, crocodiles are a lot more dangerous than the alligator. Now look at the jaw shape. Do you notice something, Ryan? What? what? Uh, Do they look different? This one's more smaller. Yeah, the crocodile has more of a smaller pointy jaw. And the the alligator. Eye, and the eyes are different. Yeah, the alligators have fat and round jaws. So they have more of a U shape, and the crocodiles have a V shape. Yes, I mean he's a little older too. I think his eyes are nice. It looks nicer. Yeah, alligators have the big uh, puppy eyes, where crocodiles have kind of the slanted eyes. No, this one's actually really good. The reason why I didn't tape him though is because he's big, and if he bit, it would be a lot of pressure. The little guys. Uh, they don't generate that much pressure, but this guy, he's already pretty big and can bite down really hard. So I tape him just in case, but if I took that tape off, he wouldn't try to bite us or anything. Sure. Now, you're gonna notice the bones on his back are way bigger because he is older. They're a little more developed, um, so he's gonna feel a lot harder than the other guys. Oh wow. That's Even so cool. his belly? Not his belly. Again, the bellies are nice and smooth. They don't have those bones, but the back um, have all the bones going down them, all the way to their tail. No bones. Now his belly is where people get boots and purses out of, but remember oh. gators are friends and not shoes. Right. <laughs> That's not very nice. Oh. Huh? It's not nice. Oh. But these guys were uh, critically endangered at one point because there was no laws protecting them and a lot of people used their skin, but oh. now we have around two million of them. Every zookeeper they oh. interact different with, which is really cool. So uh, they do recognize faces. They know uh, their I names. Tell them to stop. They'll stop. That's pretty really cool. Some that I just tell them to go to the water, and they'll go into the water. Really? Wow. Uh, they're very smart. Very smart animals. All right. These are the. Whoa. Probably about 15 or 20 pounds. Wow. Is he heavy? Yes. He's super heavy. Super heavy. Yes. Thank okay. you. So yeah. Let's keep his. Tell, um, and his legs together, and he goes back and forth like a propeller. He goes, Brrr. when he wants to slow down, he drops on his back feet and then works his brakes, and then he goes, Brrr. when he wants to change direction, he sticks a leg out, and then he goes, and then he goes and eats around. <laughs> so that's how they move around the water. They're very fast on land. On land, they can run about 15 to 20 miles per hour. In the water, they can swim about 30 miles per hour. Oh, wow. Watch them walk. Bro. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, jump? Yeah, they'll jump. They alligators jump about a third of their body length. A crocodile can jump about half their body length. Wow! Wow! He's scared from Grandpa. He's <laughs> scared from Grandpa. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> nice try. Guys. Look at saying bye. He say bye. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. He say bye. <laughs> bye. I'm mine. We say bye. <laughs> I know, he doesn't want to say no. Oh, you see you later, alligator. All right, ready, high five. High five, yay. Low five. Low five. In the hole. <laughs> what? No, oh, you don't like my hand? I washed it. He's just moving. Oh. oh, what does it feel like? Put your hand on mine. Mommy, you want to try? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> it tickles a little bit. <laughs> you don't want to try? Are you sure? Okay. Let's see what you want to try. Now, what do y'all think is in this bag? What do you think, Ryan? Lizard. Lizard? 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 What about a chicken? <laughs> a chicken? <laughs> what do you right. think? Ryan, you are right. Oh. Lizard, this little guy right here is called a blue tongue skink. So I'm gonna get a little closer to you guys. So you can oh, wow. see his blue tongue. Now these little guys are from Australia. 
And uh, skinks are known for their long bodies and these wee little legs. So yeah. now he is an omnivore, which means he eats plants and meat. So this guy likes to eat bugs. He likes crickets, worms, beetles. His favorite bug ever is cockroaches. Do y'all like cockroaches? No. Oh, no. Yeah, they're pretty nasty, <laughs> but he loves to eat them. Okay, touch him right here. <laughs> Good job. How does it feel? Weird. Weird. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. It's nice. Yeah, it's like a little dog. So the next one is from South America, Ryan. Whoa. Wow. Is that yes, place in the box only? Yep, he's, oh, he's, he's in his own. Wow. Jaw yeah, muscles. Oh, wow. So this guy right here is called an Argentine black and white tegu. And uh, again, these are from South America. And this guy's uh, a very good lizard, very calm. And the last one, he's a little crazy and I never set him down, but this guy, he hang out with us too. Now his tongue's nice and long, just like the last one. Again, he is smelling with that tongue. Um, so <laughs> he's picking up the particles out of the air. But these guys in Argentina, they will keep his trash. And he'll eat chicken nuggets, he would eat brisket, a pizza, he would eat uh, banana. <laughs> Oh, that's a skin? Oh, it's a skin. <laughs> it's old. Can we see? <laughs> we got a blue. That's on. super old. Ah! It's not super it. old. Oh, wow. So there it is, a piece of his skin. Touch it. That's pretty cool. Touch it. It's dry. Oh, yeah, it feels dry. Oh, oh, oh she's coming towards you. Look at this long finger, right? Oh, wow, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're pretty good climbers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 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 What do you think? Weird. All right, so there's the next right. one. What do you think's in here? What do you think? A rat? A rat? You think I'll just stick my hand in the bag of the snake? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So it is a snake. Uh, oh, I like the color. Very, yeah, very friendly little snake, so no worries here. Can this right here it? is called a corn snake. Can we touch it? Yeah. Okay. It's cold. Really? I want to see. Oh, it does feel cold. Wow. You want to touch it? Yeah. <laughs> And these little box turtles are omnivores, so they eat oh. uh, vegetation. What do you think is inside? What do you think? I don't know. I think something big. Oh. Something big? Oh. Whoa! Oh. So Whoa. this guy is a lot bigger than our little box turtle yeah. we just saw. This is a silcotted tortoise. Uh -oh. um, so he looks pretty big, but he's actually very young. So that box turtle, I said she was full grown. She was probably about 15 years old, but he is only four years old. So really? He's, wow. He's young, and he can live to be 150 years old. <gasps> so they live a long time. This guy, he's terrestrial, so he lives on land. So he could go in the water for a very short period of time, but he cannot swim. Uh, these guys can kind of float a little bit. Oh, good job, Emma. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Aww. She had a lot of girls. She really likes it. Yes, she does. Thank you, Simba, for the surprise gift. I learned so much about reptiles. Did you?